I think that the relationship between Old Testament and um, the word incarnate that Christians come to know in Jesus is a, is a complicated one. Um, there are different ways to, to see that relationship, but ultimately I do believe that when we are giving a word from the Old Testament, we are in fact giving a word for the church. Um, and that we don't necessarily need to have a New Testament text alongside that word in order for it to be a word for the church. Now, at the same time, I don't think Christians need to be um, apologetic about preaching that word uh, in some ways through the lens uh, of Christ. And so, obviously, preaching for the church from the Torah is going to be different uh, um, than it is for um, the, the Jewish community. At the same time, um, in Baltimore, I maintain a number of relationships with Jewish colleagues. And I do think it's really important that when we are preaching from the Old Testament, that we're very careful about the claims that we make about, well, uh, in the Old Testament times, the Jews understood blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes those statements are made really out of ignorance in ways that can be very harmful to another tradition without even realizing it. Um, so I think that's a piece that we just have to walk together through, and I really do relish the relationships I have with um, my rabbinical colleagues so that I can pick up the phone and say, you know, I read in this commentary, it says that Jews understand this particular passage in this way. Is that, is that true? Is that the way you would conceive of that? And so when preaching the Old Testament helped to, even in the midst of that, correct some of the um, misinformation that I think sometimes we've been guilty of in the church. Um, but I also think that um, uh, for some reason, I would say my experience has been the mainline, predominantly white church has been more neglectful of the Old Testament than a lot of the African American churches that I spend time in. And that narrative of exodus and deliverance um, the narrative, even Ezra and Nehemiah that I preached from this time, um, there are very few of us in uh, the mainline church that spend a lot of time in those texts. Someone to, said to me today, I haven't heard that text since seminary. Um, and it's very interesting to me that when I spend time in the black church, overgeneralizing a bit, many congregations, they know the stories of Ezra, they know the stories of Nehemiah, and I think it's because um, these narratives about a community that has been um, under assault from the larger culture and has to learn how to rebuild its walls, rebuild its community, rebuild itself, um, that's out of the experience of those congregations. So I think that these texts, these Old Testament texts, are becoming more of a resource for a mainline church that finds itself now um, less in the driver's seat and more embattled and more under stress and so forth. So that's another reason I find the old, those Old Testament texts to be very compelling because of the narratives that, that, that they lay out.